Bigger engine, more power, right? Yes! Well, not always. Oh! Especially if you're driving a VW. Let's take a close look at the air-cooled engine Evolution. It's post-war 1945, and VW's first engine is the humble 1131cc, or 1100 as it's commonly called. It had 25 horsepower, a modest start, but extremely dependable. Then came the 1192, or 1200, now rated at 36 horsepower, a good progress for such a small sized increase. 1961, still the same 1200, but now with new heads, high compression, and an updated Solex carb. Now rated at 40 horsepower. 1966, the 1300 arrives, and a healthy bump to 50 horsepower. Smoother, stronger, more refined. 1967, just a year later, we see the 1500, now pushing 53 horsepower. We've passed double our starting point. Everything's on the up. 1968. Enter the 1600 single port, rated at 60 horsepower, VW's biggest yet, and still climbing. It's 1971. This is it. The 1600 dual port lands, VW's best yet. New heads. Bigger valves, better breathing, it deserves a drum roll. And the power rating? 50. Wait, after all that, a drop? What's going on? Here's what's changed, and it wasn't the engine, it was the math. Let's rewind back. Before 1961, VW in Germany did their own horsepower testing using the European standard, which measured power with everything attached fan, generator, muffler, the lot. Meanwhile, in America, they had their own test, but at first they used VW's European numbers, until they didn't. In 61, VW engines in the US underwent the American standard testing, with a stripped down setup. No fan, no muffler, sometimes no air cleaner. That bumped the numbers, without changing the engine. So the same 36 horsepower engine in Europe was now listed at 40 horsepower in the US. Nothing changed except the rating system. And over the next decade, the gap kept growing. Same engines, different math. Then in 1971, under pressure from regulations and insurers, the US finally adopted SAE Net and tested engines the way they're actually used, with the fan, muffler, and air cleaner. And just like that, VW's most powerful engine, the 1600 dual port, dropped down to 50 horsepower on paper. Not because it got weaker, but because the truth finally caught up. But make no mistake, the 1600 dual port was a real upgrade. Still, there's one more mystery to solve. If the single port was rated at 47 horsepower and the dual port only bumped it to 50, that's just a 3 horsepower difference. That can't be right, can it? Let's explore that in the next nibble. Got a weird issue or a burning question you want us to cover? Drop it in the comments. And while you're there, let yourself subscribe.